how to code a C++ program using, using Visual C++ Express 2008. Go to the Start button, press All Programs, and locate Visual C++ 2008 Express Edition. Click there. You get a panel like this. If this is the first time you are developing a project, you want to go to File and create a new project. Or if you have already a project you're working on, you can just bring it from your recent project section. When you go to the file, click on New, click on the project. Think of a project like a big container. Then you've got a solution within the project. Then you've got a program within the solutions. We're going to work with one project, one solution, one program. Click on the project. It will put screen like this to you. You got to select Win32 or Win32 console application and give it a project name, project 01. Solution name will be the same as your project. You can change the solution to different name. You want to do next. You want to go to your application setting, make sure that the console application button is pressed, and also you want to have an empty project selected. Now, in your solution, it would give you a project 01. You want to go to create the source file for the program you are using. You can have header files, you can have resource files, or you can have source files. Select the source files and right click on it, you get a menu like this that you can select add, new item, and the next screen will come and ask you about the program name you want to code and it asks you what template do you want to use. For the naming, I use PGM to prefix my programs that I'm coding from the book, and then I do underscore a number for a chapter, and then another underscore the program within that chapter. For example, for this example you are going to see, I'm going to use PGM underscore two underscore one. So this is the program from chapter two, and that's the first program in that chapter. I make sure I select C++ file, which gives me a dot .cpp extension. Now I have under my source files the name pgm underscore two underscore one dot cpp. In the pane area where I have my main program to be coded, I start writing statement by statement from pre written pseudocode or pre written material for my design. Never try to code a program on top of your head, you're going to be wasting a lot of time always have something when you go to the terminal as your design that you want to code into the machine. As you see, this is multicolor uh, statements. Each statement will have the keyword in blue and any text you have in red for the text or uh, any other token in black. If you have errors, it'll tell you what line and you highlight that for you. Now I'm ready to finish and save these material. I go to Files, Save All. Get in the habit of saving your file every time you do a change to it. In case if something goes wrong with your program and it crashes and your machine halts, you have to restart. Do not lose your updates. Next part is going to compile the program. You go to the menu, select Build, and click on Compile. Now at the bottom of the screen, you get the compilation errors or messages. But you should compile with zero errors and possibly, if all everything correct, zero warning. Warnings are okay. Sometimes you get one or two warnings. It's just telling you something might happen in the future that, that you should be aware of. It. Once you get zero error, now you are ready to build or link the modules together and get it ready for execution. 
again you go to build and you build project again you get another message from the linkage editor telling you that you successfully linked your program now you are ready to execute you go to debug and click on the button start without the debug or you use control 5 once you start the execution of the program the control passes to your first statement and start executing statement by statement this would be the output from your program and it has on the screen programming is great fun exclamation and then the operating system gives you a message press any key to continue when I press the key it sent me back to the application that I was at. Now I'm ready to save all the work that I have done and exit my C++ Express environment. The end.